Okay, so the last thing we've got to do now is to build a kernel. So I'll make a default kernel, default config, and then we'll first we'll check these kernel settings I'm using make. In fact, it might be quicker to grab this. So sysfs. It's not set, so that's okay. So that means the V2 is not set. F handles the next one. So that's set, that's okay. So config order is set and needs to be unset, so we do need to go into Under general setup, auditing support. Okay, so we turn that off. Control group support needs to be on, that's okay. Presses type and features. Yep, that's on. Then we've got IPv6. Well, I don't use that, so I'm going to actually turn it off. here to look at so device drivers generic driver options support for U event hel helper is unchecked that's okay maintain a dev 10 path file system that's set okay and fallback user helper I can't see that so does that appear some of these options might appear because, or would normally appear if they were selected. For example, this helper. So what I'll do is I'll exit that one and just grab that. Be quicker than trying to find the option. So it's FW loader. So FW loader. Yeah, it's not set. And it's even rendered out as well. User helper, so that's okay. So we've got this DMI ID. So that sets that one's okay. Then we've got these two here. That's set. That's okay. And. Auto FS4. That's set, so that's good. Let's take a look at these ones. So that's set. Uh, 
and that one's set, so that's good. And lastly is this one we need to look for. Unwind a frame pointer. It's not set. All right, so the awk one's set, so we need to adjust that. So we'll just go down to kernel hacking. And I think it's at the bottom. Yep, there it is. Just select that one. So, um, right, it does say the IP is not strictly required, but it's highly recommended. Um, okay, so perhaps I should put it back in. So, networking. Right, so we've got to check this option here. I did notice as I was whizzing around that the EFI option did seem to be set okay, so let's just check this one since it's mentioned specifically and it is set, so that's okay. Right, so now let's check the DOSFS tool requirements. So this is file systems, DOS fat file systems, so it needs MS DOS FS support, we've got that, and VFAT support, we've got that, so that's okay. So we're done with that tab, and now I'm done with that one as well. We need to just check what the hint says. So we need to go back to the top. This is now a five partition. Um, let's check this from here. So yeah, five partition. That sets. That one's okay. Oh, I see. It tells it tells you where it is underneath. Okay. So EFI and EFI stub. Well, we've seen the EFI stub. I'm not sure if we're going to get too many. I'll just do the EFI on its own. Oh, it's not too bad. So, looks like there is no config EFI on its own anymore. But we've certainly got the EFI stub, which we've checked. Um, FB EFI. Oh, that's why I didn't see the EFI, because I don't underscore. Yeah, so it's set. And FB EFI is also set, that's the next one there. And we need to check for frame buffer console. So that's set, that's okay. Then we need to check for EFI vars and runtime map. Well, there's EFI vars that's set, and it needs to be unset by the looks of it. And the runtime map is set to yes, so we need to modify that. So firmware drivers. Yeah. Firmware drivers, there it is. Then EFI. So we can just check that's the one, EFI VARS, and EFI VARS is the one that's got the unset. So 
So we uncheck that one. And the runtime map must be that one. Here it is, it's set. So that's okay. Then the last one looks all penultimate one, is it? Maybe the last one. Um, under file systems, pseudo file systems near the bottom. And we want the EFI variable system so that can be set to yes or module. I'm actually going to build that in. I think EFI var fs, yep. Oh, I see. So this replaces the one that's been disabled here. The EFI vars. So it's saying there's a limit on the old one. So saying at the time they did this hint that the only one they didn't get set was if I, if I stub, but we did have that set automatically. So that's that lot done. Save that. Okay, so the next bit's about installing Grub. So what we need to do next is to build a kernel. So let's just see how long that's going to take. So let's just check. I've got my make flags on. Yeah, I have. So let's see how long it takes to build that.
Okay, so that's built. So now we just install the modules. And copy the kernel. System map and the config. All into the boot directory. Now we can install the documentation for the kernel. Okay, so the next bit is installing Grub into the system. So, as I've said, I've, I've been building this um, on a system I don't want to modify. So, what I'm going to do is I'll stop this recording and I'm going to go back to my um, test virtual machine and I'll be completing the rest of this back on the virtual box um, just to demonstrate the remaining steps.